Ave Maria. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Academy of the Immaculate Spotlight. The Academy of the Immaculate is a nonprofit publishing organization inspired by St. Maximilian Kolbe. I'm Sister Anne Marie of the Franciscan Handmaids of the Immaculate, and we're here to discuss with Sister Faustina some of the books on the saints, specifically Don Scotus. I see from the catalog the Academy publishes several books on Don Scotus. Not many people have heard of him. Who is he? Blessed Don Scotus was a Franciscan priest who was born in the 13th century in Scotland. This book is a delightful biography of him and his how he figures in the Marian development of doctrine. Can you tell me what was unique about Blessed Don Scotus? Well, it would be hard to pick out one particular trait that he was uh, really known for. He was a humble friar, faithful, courageous, and when they uh, had a dispute between the king, and King Philip IV and Pope Boniface VIII, the king wanted the religious to sign this a heretical statement, mm. but he refused to do so, to remain faithful to the Holy See, and he and the friars left for a while. Oh, they left the country? They left the country. Oh. What is Blessed Don Scotus most noted for? He is most noted for being a doctor of the Virgin, defender of the Immaculate Conception, and he's known as the Marian Doctor. As a matter of fact, the teaching that he taught in the schools was the groundwork for the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, proclaimed by Pope Pius IX in Ineffabilis Deus oh. in 1854. Oh, he, I think he was known as the Marian Doctor. Yes, he what's, was the Marian Doctor. What sparked his love of Our Lady? He had devotion since he was a young boy, and he was very slow at learning, and the kids used to make fun of him. And one day, he turned to Our Lady in tears and begged her to help him. And she did. She appeared to him, and she said that she would help him. It was not because of his merit, but just because it was a heavenly gift. And from that moment, he grew in his studies and he was able to learn and he became a great theologian and doctor of the church. How is this book prevalent in this year of faith? Well, in this year of faith, we are seeking not only to grow in our own faith, but to spread the faith in all its glory and truth. Lumen Gentium in Vatican II taught about our Blessed Mother and how she was so important in the economy of salvation. She was the first one who brought the intercession through her intercession, the miracle of Jesus at the wedding of Cana. She's also a woman of faith. She believed when our Lord told her that she was going to be the mother of God. And she's the first evangelizer. She's the first missionary. She went to St. Elizabeth and brought Christ to her. And we know from her, and we can learn from her, how to bring Christ to others. Thank you for watching this segment of the Academy of the Immaculate Spotlight. For more information or to place an order, you may visit us online at marymediatrix.com. That is marymediatrix.com. Or phone us toll free at 1-888-90-MARIA. That is 1-888-90-6276. Four two. Thank you.